From an incredible video of the world's largest tidal bore racing up the Tiantong River, to the unbelievable moment Mother Nature floods a busy highway and a monstrous wave in Sumatra comes crashing into land. Here are five massive tidal waves that were caught on camera. The Chantong River is one of the most famous bodies of water in eastern China. It stretches for 285 miles from Zhejiang to the East China Sea and draws spectators from all over the country for one incredible phenomenon. The Chantong is known for having the world's largest tidal bores. Now, tidal waves don't always refer to tsunami-like monsters. Instead, tidal bores refer to strong tides pushing up river and against the current. People have gathered at the head of Hangzhou Bay for hundreds of years to watch as 30-foot waves crash into the seawall. Drone footage from October of 2016 recorded the moment when two waves converged in the bay. It almost looks like someone unzipping the water. The waves meet as they travel across the water, creating one massive formation you'd have to see to believe. Spectators gather along the fence to watch the yearly spectacle, perhaps ready to get wet if the waves crash over the barrier. The waves sway back and forth once they hit the wall, like a cradle of powerful water rocking in the bay. Our favorite shot shows the waves racing across the concrete barrier like they're traveling sideways. The Chiantong tidal bores have made headlines several times in the past few decades. In 1988, an Englishman named Stuart Matthews set the longest surf record after riding the tidal bore for 1.1 miles. Then, in 2007, a Frenchman and a Brazilian rode the waves continuously for over 10 miles, a ride that lasted an hour and 10 minutes. Sometimes, the waves get a little bigger than expected, as seen when Typhoon Trammy caused them to double in size and injure several spectators in 2013. That same year, Red Bull hosted the first surf competition on the river called the Chiantong Shootout. But China isn't the only country with famous tidal bores. Sumatra Island in Indonesia is home to the Kampa River, which has become a well-known river surfing hotspot because of its long tidal bores. The locals call the bore Bono, meaning true. While Bono attracts river surfers from the local area, it's still a powerful tidal wave that shouldn't be underestimated. However, those living along the river basin know what to expect when the tide comes in. In December of 2021, a group hanging out on Ogis Beach strapped on their life jackets and got their selfie sticks ready. Nobody got hurt in the making of this video, but still, don't try this at home. Itu guys, ombak bono. Makin dekat makin besar. Makin dekat makin besar guys. Ya, datang ke sini. Makin dekat makin besar.
Salam dari Bondo. Tunggu rasanya, guys. We can see the wave approaching as the video opens. Our resident river surfer explains the plan to his brother, and though we don't know what he's saying, we hear him say the word bono, referring to the wave. For some reason, Rocky Balboa over here decides to beat up a tree as a woman runs out of the water with a selfie stick. They all wear broad smiles as the wave crashes onto the shore. Rocky puts his arms out, and the water takes them all for a fun ride. The group probably didn't think their clip would make them internet famous, but they went viral thanks to some misinformation. Someone posted the video on Twitter claiming the tidal wave was caused by an erupting volcano. The post claimed that Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai, a submarine volcano in the South Pacific, caused the waves during its eruption on January 15th of 2022. You may have seen the satellite footage on social media showing the massive mushroom cloud erupting in the middle of the ocean. However, Rocky and his friends filmed and posted the clip on December 6th of 2021, long before Tonga went viral on social media. The Ganges is a 1,500-mile river that flows through India and Bangladesh. It begins high in the western Himalayas and flows southeast to the Bay of Bengal. Like other major rivers, the millions of people who live along its basin rely on the water to survive. The Ganges is also considered highly sacred in the Hindu religion. They worship it as a representation of Ganga, the goddess of purification and forgiveness. In recent years, river surfers have flocked to Calcutta's heavily polluted stretch of the Ganges River to ride its famous tidal bores. Nicknamed the Bon, these waves can travel up to 20 miles per hour and last for 30 miles. But in September of 2017, a group of spectators witnessed firsthand how powerful one of these waves can be. Everyone moves out of the way as the tidal bore approaches from the left. Multiple waves crash over each other as excitement builds among the crowd. The murky brown water crashes over the side, forcing a group of young men to flee from the water. We can't tell what they're yelling, but it might be something like, save the bike, save the bike. Once the wave passes, they step in to get their feet wet and wind up splashing each other for fun. Sadly, the Ganges River is one of the most polluted places thanks to the 400 million people living along the river basin. Sewage runoff, industrial waste from several cities, and religious offerings wrapped in plastic add to the growing problem. Unfortunately, many impoverished people rely on the dirty water for bathing, cooking, and washing. In fact, it's estimated that 80% of all Indian illnesses are related to waterborne diseases. China's Zhejiang province boasts the eighth largest population, with over 64 million people. Nicknamed the backbone of China, the province is a driving force behind the Chinese economy. If Zhejiang were its own country, it'd fall between the Netherlands and Indonesia for total GDP. Fittingly, it's the birthplace of Jack Ma, the co-founder of Alibaba Group. The most populated city in Zhejiang is its capital, Hangzhou. It sits in the northwestern region of the province, along the banks of Hangzhou Bay, the same bay famous for those massive Qiantong River tidal bores. The waves were abnormally high in September of 2020, high enough for some Sunday drivers to get a free car wash. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Lynch 
CCTV footage shows a steady stream of traffic heading up and down the six-lane road. A white car approaches the U-turn lane, checks both ways, and starts driving. If only they looked straight ahead to see the massive wave barreling over the barrier. It washes nearly a dozen cars off the side of the road and floods most of the intersection. Dashcam footage from the black car next to the bus gives us a first-person look at the side-swiping wave. While their cars did suffer a bit of damage, nobody got hurt when the wave crashed ashore. Afterward, Chinese weather authorities warned visitors about abnormally high waves. Still, plenty of people flocked to the seawall to see the world-famous tidal bores firsthand. As for those stuck in their cars, they probably didn't see what all the excitement was about. At 329 miles long, the Garonne River flows between southwestern France and northern Spain. It plays a major trade role in France, as the Garonne forms part of the Canal des Deux Mers, which links the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. Its narrow corridors make the Garonne a prime location for massive tidal bores. In 2011, several surfers hopped on their boards to ride the French waves upriver. It's hard to tell how powerful these tidal bores are until they hit the shore. The wave moves quickly up the Garonne, 